Structure of flower. Sexual reproduction. The process of reproduction in which individuals are formed, due to the formation and fusion, of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction. It is also called, amphimixis. It is biparental, that is two parents are involved. Cell division involves meiosis. In sexual reproduction, the offspring do not show genetic variations. Sexual reproduction plays an important role in organic evolution through genetic recombinations and variations. Flower structure. A highly modified and condensed reproductive shoot, especially developed for sexual reproduction, is called flower. The floral buds develop into a flower. It consists of bract, pedicel, thalamus, calyx, corolla, androecium, and gynecium. Bract. The leaf-like structure in the axil, on which a flower develops, is called bract. Pedicel. The stalk of a flower is called as pedicel. Flower without a pedicel, is called sessile flower. Thalamus. The tip of the pedicel gets enlarged or swollen to form a platform-like structure, called thalamus. Floral whorls arises from, the nodes of thalamus. Calyx. It is outermost accessory whorl of the flower, and it is made up of sepals. The sepals gives protection to inner parts of flower during bud condition. Corolla. It is second whorl of the flower and consists of petals which are variously colored. Corolla helps in pollination by insects. Androecium. Gynecium. Androecium. It is male reproductive whorl, and made up of one, or more stamens. Each stamen consists of three parts. Filament, anther, and a connective. Anther is fertile part of stamen, and it produces pollen grains. Gynecium. It is a female reproductive whorl, of a flower. It is also called as pistil. The unit member of gynecium is called, carpal. Gynecium may be apocarpus, or syncarpus, that means, the carpels may be either free from one another, or fused. Gynecium is differentiated into, the ovary, style, and stigma. The ovary contain ovules. Ovary forms fruit and ovules form seeds, after fertilization.